Good morning. So glad you've joined us today for DI Live's Stratasys, the first choice for Polymer 3D printing. We invite you to stick around after today's presentation for a live Q&A. We'll get started momentarily. You're just waiting a couple minutes for others to join us. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Without further ado, I'll hand things over to Rich Garrity, President of the Americas at Stratasys. Hello, I'm Rich Garrity, President of the Americas for Stratasys. It's good to be with you today, and a special thank you to our great partner, CATI, for hosting us and putting on the event here this week. There's no question we've seen 3D printing get a lot more attention since the COVID pandemic started earlier this year, particularly for how 3D printing has played a role in helping address the supply chain crunch that so many industries have been facing. Stratasys is the leader in polymer 3D printing, and today I want to talk more about how we leveraged our capabilities in response to the pandemic and what that means for 3D printing going forward. For 30 years, Stratasys has been shaping the 3D printing market with the two most proliferated additive manufacturing technologies, FDM and Polyjet, creating the largest and broadest customer install base globally, which is supported by great partners like CATI. Our goal is to go out and continue to earn that first choice position in polymer 3D printing for our customers' needs. And we're working to do that, providing a full solution across systems, materials, services, software, and parts on demand to meet the needs of our customers. We're headquartered both in the U.S., in Eden Prairie, Minnesota, and also in Rehoboth, Israel. A lot of pride goes into our development and R&D efforts. We've got over 1,500 patents that have been granted uh, over the years. Uh, and as of 2019, 636 million in revenue and 2,200 employees around the world. Our lineup of printing technologies consists of FDM, which are used from concept models to functional prototypes, to the shop floor for jigs and fixtures, and now even to some low volume end use parts. Our polyjet systems, which feature multiple materials, ultra smooth surfaces for unmatched realism for both prototyping and molds. And our stereolithography systems now to create smooth surface prototypes, master patterns, large concept models, and investment casting patterns quickly and precisely. In addition, we operate Stratasys Direct Manufacturing, the largest additive manufacturing service business in North America, giving customers the flexibility 
to have us do the job for them. We produced over 20 million parts uh, through SDM over the years, logging more than 1.7 million hours of engineering time, over 300,000 projects, and we operate over 150 different materials, uh, nine different processes uh, across the additive spectrum and also in conventional as well, uh, doing that in multiple facilities uh, throughout the United States, including several which are uh, AS9100 uh, certified as well. We've got a significant amount of expertise in this business that helps customers with design support for advanced manufacturing, that helps with technical direction and recommendations where needed, and helps make sure that the materials and technologies that are being looked at are optimized for quality, speed, and affordability. We also pride ourselves on the expertise that we have and how we leverage the expertise inside of Stratasys to help our customers solve the business challenges and problems that they're after, leveraging 3D printing. We have over 100 application engineers uh, worldwide with hands-on experience with all the leading technologies, having come from Stratasys Direct Manufacturing and beyond. Our FDM production experience means we understand the requirements to certify processes and ensure reliability and, consistently, and consistency and our experience across industrial, automotive, aerospace, consumer, dental, medical, is leading us to further expand our polymer portfolio beyond FDM, Polyjet, now into VAT polymerization, as well as powder bed fusion to help our customers answer more of their needs and use cases working together with Stratasys. Speaking of the pandemic, we've seen quite a bit of shift in sentiment uh, in terms of how to think about the supply chain going forward. This was a study that was done by the Society of Manufacturing Engineers recently, where 25% of manufacturing professionals here in the U.S. Had noted that they plan to change their supply chain post-pandemic, and onshoring being the number one driver of change. In terms of the technology investments to go serve that change, on the right side of the slide here, you can see that 3D printing and robotics are at the top of the list. And this clearly demonstrates that there's an increased awareness as to how 3D printing can materially help improve production cycles. When the crisis first started to unfold here in the United States back in the middle of March, we recognized an opportunity to step up and help in the immediate term with face shields and other PPE related items. One of the first things we did was ask ourselves, how do we leverage the great customer relationships that we have and the capabilities all these, these great customers have uh, in a coalition? And so we formed a coalition of over 150 participating companies in the US that came together and pooled knowledge and capabilities to ultimately produce face shields and other sorts of PPE uh, in short order. We had 100,000 face shields shipped uh, and counting early on uh, in response that ended up going to over 150 different companies. These companies were able to pivot from using their Stratasys printers for business purposes to using them for these face shields and other needed medical parts. We believe that this example and other examples that we saw throughout the industry really highlight the, the value uh, of 3D printing uh, in, a, in a new way that maybe some were not before. And we see every single day that businesses look at 3D printing uh, as a wide benefit to what they're doing, whether it's incremental benefit or transformational benefit. And typically we see companies evaluating those benefits across a few different lines. Onshoring, local production, having more flexibility, more speed, reducing costs, creating a competitive advantage. Uh, or essentially reducing time to market. Let's talk now about each of those different business benefits with some recent uh, examples. In late March, to combat the lack of supplies, Europe's largest hospital network in Paris bought Stratasys printers so that they can locally produce shields and other necessary items. The purchase of so many units clearly demonstrates that they are thinking just beyond the emergency COVID needs. Today, many of these printers have been adopted into other areas of hospital business, 
such as making clinical models and replacement parts for clinicians, occupational therapists, electricians, and others. This is a great example of bringing the capacity on site to have the comfort and peace of mind knowing that you can print what you need when you need it. Second benefit, talking about flexibility. Interesting story here of what happened with General Motors. In late 2019, General Motors purchased 17 of our industrial grade FDM printers and set them up in a new multi-million dollar facility in Michigan to be used primarily for tooling purposes. 700 GM employees and suppliers were trained in 3D printing. But in March, the US government came calling asking that GM deliver a 30,000 unit for uh, order for critical care ventilators. GM had to pivot one of their automotive lines to be set up to now produce ventilators. And all of the 3D printed tooling that they used to make that pivot so quickly was produced on Stratasys systems. This is another example of the type of flexibility, versatility that 3D printing provides in short order to make a pivot uh, from something that you were doing to something else that uh, you want to do here is the example of the ventilators. And in fact, GM delivered on that commitment with 30,000 ventilators uh, being produced uh, and uh, sent uh, here this fall. The third benefit around speed. Uh, our partnership with Siemens demonstrates the benefit of speed. A part can be 3D printed in just hours. Within a week, they can iterate and optimize the design and then 3D print a final customized production grade part, enabling them to reduce the manufacturing time by up to 95% and respond to customers faster. This is a great example of how digital inventory makes so much sense. The cost to create each part with molds is prohibitive. Before Siemens integrated 3D printing into production, they were limited to higher quantities of parts in order to make projects cost effective. They would store excess parts until they were needed or became too outdated to use. Now every part is customized to specific requirements in a faster, cost-effective way. Regarding cost reduction, the success of the COVID Face Shield Coalition raised our profile in the aerospace industry. This comes down to economically efficient, low to medium volume production, design freedom, and speed. For aerospace, 3D printing has been a game-changing opportunity to produce low volume, single polymer parts that can now weigh less and cost less than earlier versions, which were typically metal and required multiple parts to be fused or screwed together. As many of you know, the lighter the plane, the less fuel it burns and weight reduction saves millions of dollars over time and is a big deal for the airline aerospace manufacturers. Additionally, the ability to easily deliver replacement parts helped extend, expand the lifespan of many of the planes that we see today. And this is why Stratasys, only Stratasys, has over 100,000 polymer parts already flying commercially and militarily. Regarding creating a competitive advantage, the ability to deliver lighter, more cost-efficient parts that allow for greater design freedom helps create a competitive advantage to users of additive manufacturing. Stratasys does a lot of work with various government organizations, particularly in the military, where low volume production is the norm. Speaking of government, in May, a new bill was introduced in the U.S. House of Representatives called the Advancing 3D Printing Act. This would require the Consumer Product Safety Commission to assess the state of 3D printing and evaluate solutions to secure the supply chain and increase and facilitate 3D printing manufacturing and innovation. Congressman Michael Burgess of Texas noted, 3D printing may account for up to 10% of US manufacturing in the future. Believe in this visionary statement and Stratasys has been actively engaged in Washington to help make it happen. We held meetings with bipartisan members from relevant committees of the House in late June. We will continue working with legislators to help educate and guide them as they learn more about implementing the many benefits of additive manufacturing. Regarding time to market, in healthcare, as Medtronic notes, time is everything. As a global leader in the medical device industry, Medtronic's core mission is to transform healthcare through innovation. Central to that is its ability to streamline the production process and get products to market faster. 3D printing is transforming how jigs, fixtures, and gauges are manufactured at Medtronic. 
from lightweight alignment tools to holding devices that improve ergonomics, safety, production operations, and time to market. With 3D printing, if an engineering request comes through and a jig needs to be changed for production to continue, it can be designed, printed, and ready within hours or days at a material cost savings versus two to three weeks with the conventional internal machine shop or six to eight weeks with an outside vendor. This means products are available for hospitals and physicians to use sooner. No one will argue with that outcome, especially today, of course. To summarize on the benefits we've covered, there's a wide impact of 3D printing on the production cycle. We see 3D printing creating value across every stage of product development. From pre-production prototyping of the design, form fit visual and function, through the manufacturing of a full range of factory tooling and the production of end-use parts, 3D printing plays an increasingly important role in virtually all industries. Ultimately, in a post-COVID world, we believe 3D printing is no longer a nice-to-have luxury, but it'll be an essential technology for manufacturers to have to compete. This is why we are the choice for automotive leaders such as Team Penske, who rely on our high-quality systems to deliver shorter product development cycles at lower costs. And with that, I want to thank you for attending the, uh, today's presentation and happy to open it up for questions.